Hi, um, this is a poem that I'd like to dedicate to my grandma Pamela, who died earlier this year. Um, she was 91 and she left me this hair, which I've left to my daughter, which she left to her daughter, and it's called Hair Loom. You take three equal strands, one of time, one of grit, and one of blood, thick as adders, sheer as the finest pantyhose, the brambliest bouffon, section sharply. Plat, deftly, blood over grit, time over blood, grit over time, blood over grit, time over blood, grit over time. We've passed on this miracle of molecular curls, from great grandmother's fingers to great granddaughter's twirls, this head thatch, heron's nest, top down winter vest, fully thermal backrest, my chest Fringe, candle singed, upside down Medusa minge, a wind machine's war cry, a Merkin manufacturer's bulk buy, five packets of L'Oreal for every I'm not worth the salon home hair dye, a chatterphobe's Chernobyl, a trichophilia's tease, a tidal wave of tussled tassels, a horror hive for imprisoned bees. It grows in bushels and lava clumps, swallows space, snag zips, a total scalp eclipse, quick sand for curvy grips, demanding gymnastics from its elastics. It's so big, it's almost sarcastic, flowing like hay from a gerbil's tray down the family line, 18 amino acids on an intergenerational paradigm. Blood over grit, time over blood, grit over time. Grandma Pamela clings on to the last few silver strands now, feet precariously dangling over the universe, sunken eyes staring through beige bed bars. She's got the barwood hair, she beams, sucking green goo from a brown beaker, lifts up a shaking hand to touch a cloud quaffed candy floss, once a rope of flaxen wool turned to spider's dust. My daughter, her great-granddaughter will, like her, like me, forever be the scourge of snippers and plungers. When my mum was a girl, Pamela used to make her sleep every night in drum-tight pigtails, imprisoned in a permanent parting. And now I sit, each morning, with glitter bands and paddle brush, trying to tease out the tangles as she squirms and screams. My hands, Pamela's hands. And all the women who stand in the marrow of my bones with their grit and their combs. My cousin it impression would have been their cousin it impression. Instead, my forebearers were boofing it up like Marie Antoinette, Einstein, Beethoven, weaving it into blankets to wrap around their follically flamboyant offspring so that they could live on, to carry the steel strands of our essence down the generations to this moment where the hair loom hangs on in there, flying about my face like 50 contemporary dancers trying to prove the limitless potential of space. This rare conflagration of DNA and dandruff, this literal chain that binds my mother to my daughter, my grandmother to me through the strands of history. A legacy shoot, Rapunzel's last escape route, a cosmic relay race that not only ensures our survival, but really frames the face. Passed on from hair to air and air to hair and hair to air into some unknown future where it will be used to tie the continents together, synthesize bird skeletons, or strangle the mutant giraffe. The girl with the Kim Kardashian eyebrows and magpie blue highlights blow dries the hair. The helix, the family snare, in pouty despair. How do you cope, she coos, with all this uh, hair? Polite exasperation, failing to mask the evident frustration she will later be sharing at the shabby chic coffee machine. I peer up at her sharply through a jungle of soggy creepers. Blood over grit, time over blood, grit over time.